Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another video from my channel Interactive Education, running for the best education possible from the student to the student. And today we will be continuing the chapter circles and we'll be going on for the first theorem and its proof that is the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. Now basically we have learned in the last video that a tangent is a line which touches the circle at one distinct point. Now that one distinct point at which the tangent touches the circle is called the point of contact. And we have to now prove in this that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at that point of contact. Right? Let us see how we have to prove that. Firstly, we need to take a diagram, a figure, and this is my figure. Basically, in this figure, you can see we have taken a circle with center O. And we have taken L as a tangent, which touches the circle at point P, which is the point of contact. Now, we need to prove here. Now, this is my this thing, diagram figure. Now, we need to prove. So, to prove, what do we need to prove? Required to prove is OP is perpendicular to L. So, this OP forms a right angle at this tangent L. So, how do we prove that? Now, we need to first take some points, right? So, suppose we are taking one point here on the tangent only. Suppose this is some point R and this is some point Q. Even if you just take one point, that's enough also. So, let's take just one point. Let's take, or let's take two. Let's take two. This is Q. Now, we need to prove that OP is perpendicular to L. And we've taken two points R and Q. So, first of all, if you want to write the proof, write it sequentially. So, in the proof, Right, you will write that take two points R and Q on tangent L. So on tangent L, I have taken two points R and Q. Okay, now join OR and OQ. So we're now going to join this R to the center. And we're also going to join this O to Q. That is the center to point Q. Probably let me just join it. So I joined O to Q. Now, consider OR, OP and OQ. Now, first of all, consider OR, OP and OQ. Now, in the figure, in the figure, we can say that R is a point outside the circle. R is a point outside the circle, right? Obviously, it lies outside the circle. It is not on the circle, right? It is outside the circle. It's an external point to the circle. Q also is an external point to the circle. External point to the circle. So, you can see that this is a point which lies in the external of the circle here, right? Exterior of the circle. So, Q is outside the circle. But P, point P is the point of contact. That means it, the tangent touches that point on the circle. So P is the point on the circle. Point on the circle, which is the point of contact. Point on the circle, which is the point of contact. Okay. So that's what it is. These are the points. So now, taking these points into consideration, let us consider OP and OR. So before that, we should write, based on above information, what can we conclude as a relation between OP and OR? Can we say since that R lies outside the circle and P is on the circle, that means the length OP is less than OR. Right? We can say the length OP is less than OR because R lies outside the circle, but P lies on the circle. So the distance between O and P is less than the distance between O and R. Hence, OP less than OR. Equation 1. 
not say equation in equation one right or relation one the second thing which you can consider is with oq and or oq again q is an external point and p lies on the circle therefore the distance between o p o and p and o and q o and p distance is going to be less so we can say that o p is less than o q this is the second relation so using these two relations what can we conclude can we conclude that o p is the shortest distance between the center of the circle and the tangent right right because this is also a distance this is also a distance but this is the shortest distance between the two so we can say that op is the shortest distance op is the shortest distance between center o and tangent l right so it's the shortest distance between the center of the circle and the tangent and we know that shortest distance between a point and a line is always a perpendicular to the line right the shortest distance between a point and a line is a perpendicular to the line therefore i can say that op wrap into my stylus can say that op is perpendicular to l hence proved right because we know that what's the reason because the shortest distance between a point and a line is always a perpendicular to the line from that point right so that is how we prove that the radius is always perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact right so we can say that this angle will be 90 degrees and this angle will also be 90 degrees right so i hope you are clear with this theorem it is a very very important theorem please 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 be clear with this theorem you need to know this theorem to solve many questions so the proof of this theorem is important and if you know this theorem applications are going to be really really easy right so i hope you are clear with this theorem in the next video, we'll be discussing the second theorem in this chapter and then we'll wrap up this chapter. And later on, when I make revision videos on different chapters, I'll give you questions from circles as well. So we're going to discuss all the lectures. In the lectures, we'll be discussing the concepts only, right? So with this, we are done with the first chapter, the first theorem. In the next video, we'll be discussing the second theorem in this chapter. That is, tangents from an external point to the circle are equal in length. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Stay healthy, stay smart and do look up for the next video.